Greetings, it's the 2nd of October 2021 and our top story is Cyclonic Storm Gulab, which is known as Shaheen now it seems. This storm is a forecasting nightmare. Gulab has had somewhat of a crazy track. Several days ago it intensified into a tropical storm and made landfall in eastern India after intensifying in the Bay of Bengal. It then tracked westward across India as a disturbance and it then emerged and re-intensified over the warm Arabian Sea before tracking in towards the Gulf of Oman which is where it's entering right now. The problem is that the storm is quite a small storm. It appears to be intensifying a little bit and it is heading into a narrow band of water between two dry continental areas. So the dry continental areas might act to weaken the storm, but then the warm waters might allow the storm to concentrate its convection and intensify, which is what some models are showing. Currently the JTWC have gone sort of in between with the storm actually weakening due to dry air intrusion and making landfall as a 45 knot storm but this is not what all the models are showing for example here we have the hurricane wharf our old friend having it starting at the initial time being a category one hurricane actually but as the storm comes into the narrow gulf of oman the storm contracts convection intensifies the storm intensifies rapidly as it makes landfall and actually makes landfall at peak intensity according to this model and it looks like it's 105 knots so if this were to happen it would actually be 50 knots stronger than what the JTWC have in the official forecast which is why they specifically state that the forecast is extremely uncertain the track forecast doesn't seem to be in too bad agreement they're coming in with a general landfall location around northeastern Oman but again we've got this problem with this very complicated geography which could throw a spanner in the works with the convection concentrating in the core or the dry air knocking the system out. A big concern is the ocean temperature which this is the analysis from the 30th of September and it shows 32 degrees Celsius water in the Gulf of Interior the western side of the Gulf of Oman. So the storm is going to be progressing into two side dry environments but also this warmer sea surface temperature and it is very warm. That is why the Hurricane Wharf is blowing it up. While we're here, earlier runs of the Hurricane Wharf from yesterday were actually taking the storm into the Persian Gulf. This no longer occurs in the models with I think all the models weakening the storm as it makes landfall. But you can see why it was intensifying the storm. I mean, it is off the scale hot here and Qatar is over here. So it was painting a very, very dangerous situation. But things seem to be more in step now. Let's calm things down a bit by looking at the European sensor model, which has the storm coming in on the same track, pretty much, of as the Hurricane Wharf and making landfall as more like a strong tropical storm. Here is the intensity guidance initialized at zero UTC on the 2nd of October and quite frankly it's quite concerning with a lot of the chippers jumping up and of course the Hurricane Wharf was up there jumping up into category 3 or 4 making it a major hurricane landfall in Oman while a number of other models are probably ingesting that dry air and weakening the storm. And this is very very a huge difference in intensity at landfall projected between the different models. So what will happen with this highly unpredictable storm as it heads into the Gulf of Oman? Will it ingest that dry air and remain not too strong or will it intensify as it feeds into those very hot waters over here in the west gulf of Oman and contract into a small hurricane strength system that makes landfall along this coast? I don't know, what do you think? In any case, if I were on this coast, I would be personally looking for shelter. Where are my strong, sturdy shelters? And keeping a very careful eye on this storm, just in case it does do that intensification and make landfall as a significant but small hurricane. 
keep a close eye on it. It's very interesting. Well, quick update while making this video, the JTWC have updated their forecast and they are now projecting a what is essentially a hurricane landfall in Oman at 70 knots, weakening as it does so. So there you go. See you in the next one.